Hello folks, welcome to the demonstration video number 16 of my eShop project. In this video, I'm going to explain about the product sorting and pagination part of my products page. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, we are currently on our my products page. This is the product sorting section of this page. We can search products by their name using this search bar. To start sorting, we have to click on this sort button. You can see our search results on this body section like this. To clear sorting, we can click on this clear button. Then we can search products by the added time. We can sort by newest to the oldest. You can see our search results on this body section like this. Then oldest to the newest. You can see our search results on this body section like this. Then we can sort products by their quantity. We can sort highest quantity to the lowest quantity. You can see our search results on this body section like this. Then we can sort lowest to the highest. You can see our search results on this body section like this. We can sort products by their condition. These are the brand new ones. These are the previously used ones. Then these are the pagination features of this My Products page. We can use these arrow buttons or page numbers to go back and forth between product listing pages. We can use these pagination features without sorting like this. We can use these pagination features with sorting like this. Ok, let's get into the coding side of things. So I'm going to VS Code now. As you can see, we are currently on our myproducts.php file. To keep this running in the state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside the head tags, I'm linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrap icons.css, then our own style.css file. By the bottom of the body tags, I'm linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Inside of this PHP script, I'm requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. These session calls are checking out whether the seller is signed in or not. If they are signed in, these calls are getting the email address of them. If they weren't signed in, these calls are redirecting them back to the home page. Then inside of this PHP script, we are creating a variable named page number. This search query is searching our database for the profile image of that logged in seller. Then these calls are setting that image on this image field. These calls are setting the first name of the seller, then these calls are setting the last name of the seller. Then these calls are echoing the email address of the seller. These are calls of product sorting section. We are adding IDs like this to every input field in this section. We are doing this to carry those data to the JavaScript side using the Ajax method. Then we are calling a JavaScript function named sort1 from this sort button and we are passing a value as 0 from that. Then from this clear button we are calling a javascript function named clear sorting. These are the codes of search results weaving section. We are adding id to this new tags like this. This search query is searching for the signed in users products like this. We are limiting number of search results showing on a page like this. This search query is searching products with that limit. These are the codes of a single product card. These are the codes of pagination features. When clicking on arrow to the left side, these codes are subtracting one from the current page number. When clicking on right arrow, these codes are adding one to the current page number. Then these codes are echoing the currently active page number. Ok, let's go to our script.js file. You can see our JS function sort one here like this. We are getting the passing value from here like this. We are grabbing incoming input field data using their IDs like this. Then I'm creating a new form data here like this. Then I'm appending grabbed input field data to this newly created form data. I am appending passed page value like this too. Then here I'm creating a new XML HTTP request like this. We are doing this to request from the sorting process 1.php side. This already state change is here to figure out the current state of our request. We are sending our request form data to the sorting process 1.php site using the post method from here. 
If the ready state of request is 4, we are changing in HTML of the products we win section according to response text we are getting from the sorting process 1.php site. Then you can see our clear sorting JavaScript function here like this. These codes are just reloaded in the My Products page. Okay, let's see our sorting process 1.php file. From top of this page, I am starting the session like this. Then I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. These session codes are getting the user details of logged in seller. Then we are grabbing incoming input field data like this. We are starting a search query from here like this. This part of the query is searching for the products with a title like text on the search bar. This part of the query is sorting products by their condition. These query parts are sorting products by their added time. These query parts are sorting products by their available quantity. These query parts are sorting products by their both added time and their available quantity. When sorting process is going on, we are creating products weaving section using these codes. Then pagination features using these codes. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.